This video demonstrates how to perform a rough-in alignment of the shafts for a corking pump and motor. A rough-in alignment is generally sufficient for most pump installations utilizing a corking supplied base plate. Please refer to the applicable installation operation and maintenance manual for detailed information and a maintenance schedule on these pumps. The IOM manuals may be downloaded from Corkin's website at corkin.com. Please note these important safety tips. Periodic inspection and maintenance of the pump is essential. Equipment installation, operation, and maintenance should only be performed by qualified personnel. All procedures must comply with the Corkin Installation Operation and Maintenance Manual, applicable local codes and safety standards. The transfer of toxic, flammable, or explosive substances is always at the user's risk. Review the Installation Operation and Maintenance Manual before performing any maintenance procedures. This is a simple procedure that requires basic hand tools, a flathead screwdriver, an open and closed end wrench or ratchet and sockets, a feeler gauge with various sizes, and a known straight edge. Before performing a rough in alignment between the pump and motor, the base plate must be level. Begin by placing a level in the center of the base plate and rotate in 90 degree increments. If the base plate is not level at all points, shims must be added to the bottom edge of the base plate. After the base plate has been leveled, the steps for rough in alignment can begin. Before performing any maintenance on the pump or motor, implement the proper lockout tagout procedure. Begin by removing the coupling guard using the flathead screwdriver. Many of Corkin's pumps utilize a flexible coupling that transmits power from the motor to the pump. Between each half of the coupling is a rubber spider gear. It allows for a small amount of misalignment. However, measurements must remain within tolerance. The coupling also provides vibration dampening and acts as a fuse in case of torque overloads. There are two types of misalignment, angular and parallel. With angular misalignment, the shafts are at an angle to each other. With parallel misalignment, the center lines of each shaft are parallel, but not collinear. To confirm proper angular alignment, overlap the two halves of the coupling with a straight edge and confirm there are no gaps of light between the coupling and the straight edge. A 15 thousandths feeler gauge can be used along with the straight edge as shown. First, confirm alignment on the vertical axis at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions. Next, confirm alignment on the horizontal axis at the 3 and 9 o'clock positions. When properly aligned, both halves of the coupling must be flush or with no more than 15 thousandths of a gap between the coupling and the straight edge at all four positions. If there are any gaps more than 15 thousandths, the coupling alignment is out of tolerance. To realign the coupling, loosen the mounting bolts for the pump and reposition the pump shaft until the gaps on both axes are flush or within tolerance of the straight edge. In some instances, it may be necessary to reposition the motor as well. Note, each of the eight mounting holes for the motor and pump has about 1 16th of an inch of play. After proper alignment is achieved, secure the pump to the base plate and recheck the alignment. To confirm parallel alignment, place a straight edge on the vertical axis at 12 or 6 o'clock position and again on the horizontal axis at the 3 or 9 o'clock position. The recommended tolerance is no more than 15 thousandths of an inch offset. Use a 15 thousandths feeler gauge to check the gaps as shown. If the gauge is tight in the gap or will not slide through at any of the measurement positions, then the parallel alignment is in tolerance and no adjustment is necessary. Ideally, the coupling should be flush with the straight edge at both the vertical axis, 12 and 6 o'clock positions, and the horizontal axis, 3 and 9 o'clock positions. Horizontal misalignment does not require shimming. A cork and supply base plate is generally very close to tolerance and requires very little horizontal adjustment. 
Vertical misalignment requires shimming of either the pump or motor. In this example, the 15 thousandths gauge easily slides through the gap between the coupling and the straight edge. The coupling is out of tolerance and must be realigned. In this case, the pump shaft is lower than the motor shaft, so the pump must be shimmed. To determine the amount of shimming required, insert a feeler gauge into the gap and note the gap size. This pump coupling is 30 thousandths lower than the motor coupling. This measurement determines how much shimming is required to raise the pump shaft. Loosen but do not remove the bolts on the pump mounting frame as shown. Separate the coupling by loosening the set screw on the motor side of the coupling and slide towards the motor. Note, examine the rubber spider gear between the two coupling halves. If it is damaged or has excessive wear, replace before reinstalling the coupling halves. Excessive wear is usually the result of a misaligned pump and motor. Since the pump needs to raise 30 thousandths of an inch, two 15 thousandths shims are used at each corner. Tilt the pump and insert the proper amount of shims under each corner of the pump frame. Before securing the pump to the pump frame, confirm angular alignment once more with visual inspection and using a straight edge and feeler gauge. Secure the pump frame to the base plate using the wrench. Slide the coupling back together until it seats against the spider gear. Confirm parallel alignment by inserting a feeler gauge between the straight edge and coupling at two places 90 degrees apart. 15 thousandths of an inch or less is acceptable. Before reinstalling the coupling guard, make sure the pump and motor shafts spin freely. Tighten the set screw on each side of the coupling and confirm that the pump mounting bolts are tight. Confirm parallel alignment with the 15 thousandths gauge one more time after everything has been tightened. Reinstall the coupling guard using a flathead screwdriver. Note, use of a straight edge and feeler gauge is a rudimentary shaft alignment procedure. Other alignment methods utilize laser alignment tools or dial indicators. However, due to the smaller size of the coupling used on Corkin's pumps, a straight edge and feeler gauge are usually adequate. This completes the procedures on how to perform angular and parallel alignment of the shafts for a Corkin pump and motor. Visit the website often for the latest technical updates and news on all of Corkin's products.